That's basically lost 72 kilometers range just by having the fan on speed one. Here we have the new Lexus RZ450e. This is a brand new model and in fact it is Lexus's first dedicated electric vehicle. There is the UX which is available with an electric powertrain but this has been built from the ground up as an electric model and it's based on the ETNGA platform like the Toyota BZ4X and the upcoming Subaru Solterra. It looks kind of strange I guess it, it looks a bit like a sporty coupe but it also looks like an SUV it's got slightly higher ground clearance but overall I think it looks quite sporty and unique. At the front you've got a sort of EV interpretation of the spindle grille the company's spindle grille except this doesn't have a engine so it doesn't need actual airflow through there so it's just a panel and then this model has also got some rather small 18 inch alloy wheels but that means you've got a nice big sidewall there which can take the impacts of bumps and so on and i suppose you could go off road with it to some degree as well and then inside it's a very very luxurious cabin it's got those electric door handles that we saw on the rx so basically it's just a button behind there it doesn't actually the door handle doesn't actually move and it unlocks as you push the button and then the same inside as well you just push that but you can actually pull the lever as well but it's a bit sort of fiddly it's a very nice interior it even feels more luxurious than some of lexus's other vehicles for some reason i don't know why maybe it's this tan color but it just yeah feels very soft and luxurious even these carpets look how thick that carpet is it's like a carpet you put in your lounge room the steering wheel feels really nice as well it's really soft leather as with the seats the seats are really soft as well in terms of passenger space yeah it just feels like a sort of large mid-size suv coupe type thing you've got the pillar that does come sort of towards your head there but yeah it feels sporty and and very comfortable brand new dash design for lexus it kind of wraps around a little bit that part's sort of angled towards you and then of course digital screens everywhere but i just wanted to show you something so look at that range figure there that's almost full you can see the the gauge there as well it's pretty much maxed out it doesn't have a percentage which i kind of prefer in a in an ev i'm sure there's well there might be a setting in there somewhere that you can change that to a percentage but the range is 378 and that's in eco mode watch what happens when i push the fan for the climate control just the fan not actually the aircon i'll leave the aircon off so that's aircon on aircon off and just the fan on speed one it's just dropped down to 306. now obviously this depends on a lot of different factors mainly how i've been driving before i got here so if i've been driving on a racetrack flat out all all morning and then charge the car put the aircon on it's going to calculate that based on driving around a racetrack so it's going to be you're going to lose a lot of range in other words i haven't been driving around a racetrack i've been just driving very normally uh, in fact on the highway most of the time and i'm in eco mode I've also got the aircon or the, the temperature set at 18 and a half, which is very similar to the outside temperature of 16. So the aircon doesn't have to work too hard to reach that temperature. And in fact, I'll turn it down to low and it still says 306 anyway. That's basically lost 72 kilometers range just by having the fan on speed one. That's without the aircon on. I just think that's a bit over the top to just have the fan on to lose that much range, almost a quarter of its range. I'll turn it off and show you again. So 378. 306. Now I can go into the climate settings as well. I've got it on eco heat and cool. Even if I turn the Nano X filtering off and turn that off as well, that hasn't changed anything. It's still 306. Turn the eco, eco heat and cool. That has dropped it down even further. So if I don't have it on eco heat and cool, you lose even more range. That's just crazy in my opinion. Like it's not like I'm asking it to do something, you know, way out of its its depth or what it's meant to be designed for. It's just putting the, the climate control on. I don't think that's a big ask. It's not like I've got massage heating seats activated, all four of them or something like that. I can understand that would really drain the battery, but just having the fan on, I don't I don't understand that. 
Other than that though, I do like the direction that Lexus has gone with this. It, it's very comfortable and relaxing, which I think electric power does actually enhance that. So when you're driving along in this, it just feels like all of your problems are, are outside. It's just silent in here and you just cruise along and you've got great power as well. But tell me what you think. Do you use the aircon on all the time when you drive your car? Or do you have the fan speed on, maybe one or two? Or do you think it's reasonable that an electric car should drop such a significant amount of range? I'll have the full written review of this coming up soon, including the zero to 100 performance video.